Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome to Wireshark for Beginners. So in this set of tutorials, I'm going to be teaching you how to use Wireshark and I'm going to be moving you from a beginner level to an advanced level or, or an intermediate level. So you might be asking, what is Wireshark? Well, Wireshark is a traffic analyzer. Now, you might be asking, why do I need to learn Wireshark? Well, if you're a network administrator or system administrator, and you're interested in basically monitoring what's going on on the network, this would be handy for you. Or if you're just a curious parent at home, wants to make sure that your children aren't browsing the web, um, you know, in more uh, illicit uh, methods, I mean, visiting um, inappropriate websites and stuff like that. So basically, it's just a tool for monitoring what's going on on your Wi-Fi network. That's basically it for the layman. So I, I guess anyone can really learn how to use this tool. It's nothing really hard. So yeah, let's get to it. So I'm over here on their website. It's uh, wireshark.org. Uh, there we are. That's the website. I will link it in the description section. If you don't want to type it out, I don't know how long that will take. But um, yeah, once you load it up, uh, you just want to hit download. Um, and it's free, by the way. Uh, so the current stable release is Wireshark 2.2.3. So uh, we have uh, the latest uh, stable release. Uh, you, you have your different platforms. You have uh, Windows, Mac OS. Um, you have source code for Linux. I do believe that you have to install it through the terminal on uh, Linux. Let me know if you want a tutorial on that. Uh, so again, you have your different architectures in terms of uh, platforms. Uh, so you have a 64-bit Windows and 32-bit Windows. Uh, I'm going to download the 64-bit because that's the version of Windows I'm running and the processor of basically the processor that I'm running. But I already have it downloaded and installed. Uh, please do note that during the installation, uh, I want to make, uh, you have to just uh, install Windows uh, WinPCAP, that's what it's called. Uh, it'll give you that prompt during the installation to install WinPCAP. Now make sure you do install WinPCAP because uh, as again, it, it's one of the uh, components that goes hand in hand with Wireshark. So, uh, once you have it uh, downloaded and installed, it's a very simple process. I have it right here. Very nice icon. It's a shark fin, a blue shark fin. Boot it up and you're greeted uh, by what appears to be a loading menu. Uh, and this uh, very, very, very uh, complicated looking uh, program. But don't worry, it's nothing really complicated. So, basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give you a basic overview here of what to do to get started. Uh, we're going to look at the advanced stuff in the next video. I'm going to cover that then. So, uh, welcome to Wireshark. Well, thank you very much. So, what it tells me to capture. Uh, don't worry about this using enter a capture filter. So, basically here what it's asking you is what uh, network interface card are you using and want to use to monitor your traffic. So, right now you can see there's some activity on my Wi-Fi card. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. So, I think I'm going to use my Wi-Fi card. Although if you're using it Ethernet, just go ahead. Uh, don't worry about these VMware network adapters. I have virtual machines running on my computer. That's why they have these uh, virtual network adap adapters. And I really do know that they might not be working unless you're actually running the virtual machine. But nonetheless, that's for another video. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit Wi-Fi. There we are. And it's uh, you want to hit this green button. Oh, it's already started. So... Um, Unfortunately, I did not have to uh, press the start button. It already started for me. So that's the thing. Uh, if you want to, if you want to start a capture, just hit the green button. If you want to stop it, hit red. All right. And then once you stopped, uh, it's going to stop capturing the packets. So that's basically how to get started using Wireshark. I'm going to cover all the other, uh, basically the tools and uh, basically the uh, all the other nooks and crannies uh, in the next video but uh, yeah i hope you guys are interested in this series of videos uh, i know it's going to help you a lot uh, or maybe a lot i don't know but if it, if it does and you you really want to show your support please leave a like down below again one thing i would really request guys is that you follow me on my social networks i need to get some followers on my social networks so that I can at least build a community uh, around what I'm doing, which is basically ethical hacking and cybersecurity. So yeah, I mean, if you feel like, drop a like on my Facebook, Twitter, or follow me on Instagram. No worries there. You'll get all the latest updates on the videos I'm working on and all the uh, other stuff. The other thing is, guys, 
thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Uh, it's grown a lot since the start of the year. I've grown from uh, 500 subscribers in to, to 700 subscribers in like one or two weeks, and that's that, that's really great, guys. And I'm gonna set a goal for this year, guys. Uh, you heard it here first in this video uh, that this year I want to hit 10,000 subscribers or even more. So I've committed to the YouTube channel. I'm gonna be doing it regularly now. I know that's what you guys want. You like cons consistency, but enough of the chatter. Uh, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. And yeah, peace guys.